Friday afternoon, and here we are again, Dodson and Ross. Yes, and today we're talking about sexual inhibitions. I, you know what I thought before we started this? Do you have any sexual inhibitions? I do. I have what? a lot. What? I have a lot. Really? And they're different. And I they... can't think of one I have, but go ahead, list yours. Well, um, let's see. I can't see. believe this. Mine will be dealing with the aging. The aging process. Oh, okay. So, so I look down at my body and I say, oh, which breast is going to reach my waist first? <laughs> I think the left one is winning. Do your nipples wrinkle? Nipples wrinkle? Do they wrinkle? I'm just wondering if the, the, the that tissue... <laughs> Can you check? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we're going to take some of your questions on sexual inhibitions. Here's a good question. What's the best way to bring up a lesbian relationship? Oh, I had this woman who... That's it. I met this beautiful hetero girl, and I would love to have a lesbian relationship with her. In Korea, lesbian relationships are not talked about. Do you have any tips on how to bring this up to her without turning her off? I know. It's very easy. All I, what I would recommend is simply start talking about somebody else. Oh, I have a girlfriend oh. of mine, I, and, she's, and she's, she's crazy about this other woman, and she would love to let her know that she was, she's sexually I interested. I would never do that. That's such a good line. I would never do that. So all you do is talk about your friend. I would just get her drunk. And watch, <laughs> Carlin, you, and you watch the person you're talking to, and this is Korea now, remember. They're very, very rigid or, you know, unscripted. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So she watches her response, and she goes, oh, really? Well, I've had some thoughts like that myself. Or she'll say, <gasps> that's so terrible. Smart. You know. And, and so, then you don't know, you don't bring it up. Then you don't bring it up. Yeah. Okay, so I have a question. Okay. Um, there's a young woman that I met a few weeks ago. Very yeah. interesting. Now this is this is a real thing. This is a real thing. Okay, okay, so this okay. is my question. Okay. Here's an inhibition I have. Okay. So now I just found one. <laughs> I didn't See, think I had one. We all have them. So um, I met her on Facebook. She emailed me. We've been going back and forth. Very good looking. Very nice. Met her. Lovely person. Um, she sent me an email. She's like, why don't you come over Sunday for dinner? And I assumed that meant me and my man. So I'm like, oh, we'll bring wine. And she goes, no, no. I was thinking more of a girl's night. So my girl's night to me means we're going to be munching some carpet. Uh, not Come on. Miss, not no. You not, know who we're talking about. Oh, if it's her, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so here's my inhibition. It's been a while since I've been with a woman. And it's been such a while. Like, I used to only have sex with girlfriends. I've never really done the safe sex, lesbian sex. So my inhibition is, oh. I have to have this conversation with her. Like, do I sit down and how long do I wait? Like, I don't want to just assume that I think she wants to have sex with me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Why so, would you assume it would be the first time you have Why would you assume it would be oral sex? Why, you can just do fingers and avoid the it, whole hands, thing. Hands, hands, hands. There's See? nothing better than hands. The pro. <laughs> nothing better than hands. And I can bring a toy. I can bring the Hitachi. Of course. You can, and a sock. And you can sock end up it. masturbating together. Okay. I can only orgasm alone. How can I learn to orgasm in the same room as another person? And this woman has a new boyfriend, and she said she can't even masturbate in front of him alone. It, she has total and complete performance anxiety. The first time I masturbated in front of my lover, I was freaked out. It was the most challenging. I cannot tell you. Um, see, this is the thing. People think that they're the only ones going through this, and they would think, oh, Betty, She's not inhibited. She never had yes. an inhibited bone in her body. Absolutely not. Every inhibition on the mm -hmm. planet I have, I have had. And so this whole thing I was going through, he'll see I can do myself, and he'll, he'll realize I don't need him. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then if, he won't want me as much anymore. Right. Or what if, what if I can't come? Well, that's what she's doing. She's like, my boyfriend said, look, I'll just watch you masturbate. And she's like, no. <laughs> well, why doesn't he go first? I had to watch myself masturbate in front of a mirror. I did it standing up. And I, watch to see what yes, he would be looking yes, at, yes. and then you don't have to feel so yes. weird and so, about it. And, and so, because I was afraid that when I was having the orgasm, I'd be like, uh, uh, yeah. What do you look, you know, you don't know what you look like. I've seen some bad orgasm faces, but well, I still had a good time. I didn't hold it against him. No, it's, you look intense. Um, my thing goes like this. In fact, after I finish masturbating, my head stays like this. For you have like your several brown lines. I do, and I'm like, oh no, maybe I need some of that Botox or some shit. Oh, please. Now, what you could do, which would be what I would do, you could videotape yourself yes. on the webcam. Yes. Oh, and then watch yes. it. Yes. Oh, that'd be so. Yes. And then you could email yeah. it to him and be like, now you can watch me orgasm. Yeah. And then it would take the whole edge yeah. off. Exactly. 
oh. or set up your little camera and do it and power of technology first watch yourself either if you do it in a mirror oh, or a video that. cam I love that and then you'll see that you look beautiful you look intense it's it's wonderful it's exciting because the first time I watched myself masturbate on film I had to go and masturbate <laughs> <There's>... <laughs> you turned out you have your own porn <laughs> <laughs> yes exactly you get into a loop Oh, that's hot. I think, I'll, oh, yeah, I'll do it again. <laughs> How do I bring up my bondage and binding fantasies to my boyfriend? So this is a new relationship. She just started seeing him, and she has these kinky, kinky fantasies. She's talking about bondage. And, and biting. Oh, that's so, it is so garden variety. Vanilla. That's so vanilla, really, you know. Or, that, so she can talk about it. She can talk about a fantasy. Mm -hmm. While they're, after they've had sex and they're in that mellow mood, she can say, you know, I had this fantasy the other night that uh, you actually tied me up. And so he'll go, oh, I don't like that at all. Or he'll say, really? Oh, I would be interested. You know, you've got to start the conversation yes. some way. And I would say the best time to have that conversation is when you've just had sex. And at the end? And you're floating and everything. life is good. and you know, you're, you're all high. Yeah, you love and him and all that. <laughs> that do it then. So what's your See, latest fantasy? Uh, my latest fantasy is probably just, I don't know, the new the new lover. Is it going to be a man? Is it going to be a woman? And uh, we have a lot of sex toys here that we have to try. From Babeland, yeah. I want to try the Saucy this weekend, and you should try the Synergy. Okay. And oh, then I we'll did. come back and we'll tell you, we'll I give did. a little sex toy review. You did it already? Yeah. You whore. <laughs> You sex toy slut. I am. <laughs> I am. Guilty as charged. <laughs> I am. Okay, so we're going to play with some toys this weekend, and then we'll okay. be back. Okay, absolutely. <laughs>